So uh, today I've compiled for you guys uh, a bunch of cards that have relevance to Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord. So first off, we have Drytron Alpha Thuban, not as directly related, but uh, this card must be special summoned with the fact of a Drytron card. So you cannot special summon it with Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord, for example, or any card for that matter, like Monster Reborn. Jack O'Bolan, you can't special summon this from your opponent's graveyard. And this matters for like a card like, for example, Return of the Zombies. So this is a really weird card in that regard. But it would be possible for you to like summon back their Ash Blossom still, which is probably your preferred target anyways. You can still banish it off of like a Return of the Zombies, so. Just wanted to mention there are cards like this that are a bit weird. So we won't really start in order here, but you can special summon technically any barrier statues with uh, Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord. You just have to somehow get them in the graveyard. This one, not super hard for you to get in. So, honorable mention, I guess, Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. If you uh, can special summon it, just at all. But you can only use one effect of Shadow Mist per turn and only once that turn. So, with. Anyway, you can add any uh, change quick play spell card, and for change quick play spell cards, there are two, I, well, two, three, or something like that. Well, this is taking a while to scroll down to. So we have mass change and then mass change two. I don't think there's anything else. There's like, apparently you can add star changer, your gear change, form change. Well, whatever. Yeah, you're mostly going to be adding either Mass Change 2 or Mass Change. But you can't activate it on the same turn. You'll be uh, summoning Shadow Mist, I guess. Unless you're specifically just going for Dark Law, I guess. And summoning Shadow Mist then into Mass Change and not using its effect for a Malicious. Which is good to set up like a Beatrice. So you can also special summon like a spell canceller, but the demerit to this is that it negates all spell effects on the field as well, so this will negate zombie world as well. But your opponent cannot activate Raigeki Desires or anything like that. So useful there. Also Super Poly and some other stuff as well. Very good. Artifact Scythe. This will just stop your opponent from special summoning from their uh, extra deck for the rest of the turn. And spell cancel a little bit more permanent in that sense. Dark Samorg. Neither player can set cards. So it doesn't specify what cards obviously. So you can't set monsters. You can't set back row. You can't set a field spell. That's what it means. So th this cucks over flip decks which is funny but probably not why you're playing it. The deck type it most notably bends over by itself, just having Dark Samorg on the field is uh, you you can't set any traps and traps, aside from like Imperm and stuff, they need to be set for a turn and then flipped over, which is now impossible. But let's see. It says set cards, but let's check a little something. If we go to Eldlick here. You can banish this card. Oh yeah, okay, this sets. It doesn't place, because that's different. But I guess the terminology for set is pretty consistent, so... Even a card like this can't activate. You can, If you uh, mill like a Guardian of the Golden Land, you can't activate uh, its effect to set like uh, Elblixer of Scarlet Sanguine. So, a little weird, but... If you didn't have the opportunity to summon Bolin, but you had the opportunity to mill Bolin, you can actually summon Jacko Bolin off of Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord, and then Jacko Bolin can special summon a zombie monster from either graveyard. Whereas Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord is only. It only says you can target one zombie monster in your graveyard, which is a little bit different. And you can also special summon Christia. There's actually nothing stopping you from special summoning Christia. You just need to get it in the graveyard, I guess. 
If you have exactly four fairy monsters in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. If summoned this way, target one fairy monster in your graveyard, add that target to the, your hand. So all of this doesn't matter in regards to this. And then neither player can special summon monsters. If this face of card would be sent from the field to the graveyard, place it on top of the deck instead. So I mean, I guess the demerit here is mostly that uh, you're screwed if uh, Christia is out it it leaves the field because it'll go to the top of your deck so you better be able to play with the cards you have i guess if you run christia so we have doom king ballad rock so you might be thinking hey but wait a minute doom king ballad rock special summons itself true but what you can do is like chain one Let's say we have Doom King special summoning itself. Chain 2 called by, then we can go ahead and chain 3 Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord. Because this is just during your opponent's turn, unlike Bolin, who is uh, during your opponent's main phase, you can use it to dodge called by. So, in that same train of thought, you know, if you activate Ash Blossom Enjoy Spring against your opponent and then they try to call by, you can chain 3 Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord to dodge called by. Kind of also in the same train, like if you uh, pop your scythe actually, instead of just using Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord to special summon it, you can dodge called by. So as long as you have uh, enough uh, space on your field, then you can reasonably use Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord to uh, special summon a zombie monster, which should be all of them because Zombie World is up on the field. Then you can uh, just go ahead and special summon it to dodge a called by. So, then we'll go on to this, Slifer the Sky Dragon. You, you can actually just special summon a Slifer. I mean, it gets sent to the graveyard during the end phase of the turn. I, I mean, I, I just found it funny. But, the fact is specifically, uh, normal or special summon to your opponent's field in tank position that monster loses 2,000 attack than if its attack has been reduced to zero as a result. Destroy it! So, the awkward thing about Slifer here is it'll only really negate like a normal summon, so it's like less powerful in a sense than like for example a Christia or like some other cards, but whatever. Actually in the same line of thought, I should check this out real quick. Uh, Amano. Yeah, you can't special summon Amano Iwato. Oh wait, Amano Kujaki? This negates the effects of all light monsters. Oh, this is weird. During the main phase of this card's owner, you can quick effect. You've controlled this card to your opponent, then you, the activating player, can make this card become any attribute until the end of the next turn. So you can actually use this as kind of a floodgate. This is like a ghetto protos, basically. Didn't know this card existed, actually, I'm on a Kujaki, huh? And then let's go with this as well. I guess you can also bring out, like... Oh. Can we find it? Alright. Kalki Mirrored Doom. Uh, negate the effects of light and dark monsters that activate during the main phase. So this is, like... V a ghetto VFD, I guess I you would put it. Budget VFD. So, anyway. We have Megalith Full here. The reason being, like... This is still a pretty valid line. If you can set it up. I haven't really thought about all the logistics for Full yet, but... Uh... Ritual Summoned Monsters, if it's properly Ritual Summoned. You can special summon them from the graveyard, actually. And in that sense, you can actually summon full. Like, let's say you use full to make Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord, whatever. Then you can properly summon full back from the graveyard with, like, a Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord. I mean, full might not be exactly the correct level for this, which is interesting enough. But let's say you have, for example, just the full and Doom King, which is wholesome enough, and Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord, maybe some Link Monster, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. 
And then we can go ahead and Megma full uh, special summoning tribute, like probably like anything, I guess. Let me read the effect when I do this back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is an effect, so it won't tri- I remember how this works now, alright. So you decide the tribute on the chain, actually. So... You can go ahead, like, for example, chain 1 or chain 2 Megalith full, and then the next chain, Doom King Baladrock. Have that banish, and then Doom King will come back next turn, of course, and then you can use that to summon Bether by tributing the Doom King. So, and a Megalith hybrid deck with uh, zombies, that would work like pretty alright, pretty well. And I guess you could use some of the Megalith cards to climb into like a Red-Eyed Zombie Dragon Lord or a Felgrind or something like that. And then I guess, for example, if you just had a full and a Felgrind, that, that would be not bad as well. So... The good, great thing about the Megaliths is we're mostly focusing on the Bether Pops here. I guess there are some other cards that do help with certain situations, right? And certain things. Speaking of which, this actually does help you play around Skill Drain. So if you go ahead, like, Chain 1, any effect, we'll just say Chain 1, Bether, right? Does this require Bether to be on the field to activate? Do, 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 do. No. So, let's say we have a chain 1 Bether situation, and then like, there's a skill drain or whatever. You can chain 2 Megalith Unform, tributing Bether to special summon something else. And then you'll actually, interestingly enough, you will get both effects, which is nice. And this doesn't just target face-ups, which is great. This targets uh, any card on the field that your opponent controls specifically, right? Yeah, you target cards your opponent controls, so you can go ahead and Bether effect to pop, depending on how many rituals you have, but if you just special summon like a Ophiel or a Full or something like that, you can get quite a few pops set up. It's actually easier and more consistent somehow to set up than I would say Sun Saga, especially when you're going first and want to do some popping going second and you can do the pops not just like once easily but like multiple times over the course of a duel you can kind of well it's better with like an emergence in that regard if you want to really summon better but if you have multiple bethers of course you can just summon better on top of better even and then that'll allow you to just pop for like i don't know uh, depends on how many you have in graveyard, I guess. This is based on the number of virtual monsters with different names in your graveyard. Well, probably, I think, the best way to do this is just to run, uh, straight up Maglyph card. So, probably you'll have, like, three or four. And maybe, does this include Bether itself, actually? Yeah, it does. So, at the peak, you have four or five pops. Normally it's like, well actually, this doesn't even include full, so it, it can go like up to reasonably like a 6, but it's probably hanging around closer to 3-4 pops I guess every turn, just very typically, but it can definitely go higher I would say. So then we'll finish off with Zeus. Zeus isn't super super useful, but it is interesting like if in regards to zombies, that if you can summon Zeus, and it's in a situation where it wouldn't get destroyed, of course, then you can go ahead and attach a card from anywhere. And deck or extra deck to this card as material. So, the notable thing about this is that you can go ahead and just attach like a Mezuki from your uh, deck, or like a Banshee or something like that. And that's pretty interesting. But the downside to this is it has to be destroyed by your opponent's card effect, which makes it a little jank. But it is very interesting as a tech. It's pretty situational, but I guess you could always just pull and bring back like your opponent's Zeus. And that would be a slightly more logical for you, I suppose. But 
it's interesting to know that that is an option you have. There are a lot of options for different things. But th that's what makes me like really enjoy playing like a Jack of Bullen, for example. Like if your opponent, well, as we mentioned with the like dry drone example, it doesn't really work with that. So like your opponent chain once, uses like a monster's effect to special summon it from the group. We'll just go with golden hair for now. I believe golden hair does so, yeah. Golden hair, do, do, do. special summon this card from your hand. If this card is in your you discard one card, special summon this card. So your opponent activates an effect like that. You chain pull into it, special summon their monster to your field. And since it will be banished, they will never get that card back. Real well, typically, because it'll be banished after it gets outed. And then, like, for example, that also works against, like, Branded, actually. Because Lubelion, like, assuming you have no... Well, you typically don't have any interaction aside from monster interaction with, uh, most of the Zombie World cards. Let's assume something funky like Chain Wong. Uh, Lubelion for the Branded uh, Fusion, right? Then you can go ahead and... Bring back the Fallen of Elbaz. Or like the Tragedy. I guess Tragedy is pretty reasonable to bring back. But hmm, it might not be the best, honestly. Targeting probably Tragedy or Fallen of Elbaz, I guess. It depends, I guess, on the exact situation, but. If you target Fallen of Albaz in the graveyard and special summon it back, then Branded Fusion would allow them to do not much. They can make hmm, Masquerade and or Despian Puritus, which is not super insane in comparison to like a Mirror Jade, right? And this also allows you to do that and chain to like rent it and rent. But the downside is like Jack of Bullen is only on your opponent's turn, which is kind of tragic because if your opponent doesn't have like brain damage, I guess I would put it that way. It's kind of mean, but I I'd say it's true. Then they, they wouldn't like, they would just not rent it and red in like the main phase. They would do it in the standby. But. Yeah. I think I covered most of what I wanted to cover today. And uh, I hope this gave you some ideas, some inspiration. Maybe it helps you find some new tech you guys enjoy. So, I'll see you guys. Bye.